set to go. There's the green light. They're off and racing in the second event and away fast to the inside. Supreme Jester will get to the pegs first. Batador and out deep on the track. Orbison Castle begin well. No speed, real stride. It's trying to slot across the land. One off. And then came further back then to Sue Denham. And then on the inside is the Miami Heat. Drifting well back in the race then as Master Dip followed by the Spin King and the race favourite. Highview Sadler will settle down at the tail of the field. Going quickly up front, one of the real boulders in the field. Batador shot clear, went two in front. Supreme Jest a second, about three away on the outside, Orbison Castle. And then came on the inner Sue Denham, followed by Highview Sadler on the improve. It's going to be put four deep there as Real Stride went up three deep. So four wide on that bend is the favourite Highview Sadler. And then came the Miami Heat Master Dipper at the tail of the field is the Spin King. Lead time a cracker, 36-8. And Batador's handed up to Real Stride, who went to the lead. So Real Stride in front. Second parked is Highview Sadler. Sits within three parts. Third, Batador. And fourth into the one by one is Orbison Castle. And then Supreme Jester. It's three markers and fifth, followed then by Master Dip. Next on the inside, Sue Denham and the Spin King and the Miami Heat whips them in. At the moment, there'd be about seven lengths top end to tail. 31.3 first split last mile and it's real stride the leader. Shows the way by a half length. Second high view, Sadler, Batador third and then Orbison Castle, Supreme Jester. Master Dip and Sue Denham followed on the outside by the Spin King and still last of all is the Miami Heat as they will into the straight. Winning post, Judge and Bell. Oh, just veering out there was real stride when they came in and seemed to contact Highview Sadler, who also had to go a little wide there. And as they balance up properly once again, it's Real Stride leading. Second quarter, 31-6, 62-9 the half. And Real Stride gets a length and a half on Highview Sadler, Batador and Orbison Castle. Supreme Jester, Master Dip starts a run three deep and it's being tagged by the Spin King, urged along to make ground. And then Sue Denham and the Miami Heats last of all. It's Real Stride, the leader. And it gets two lengths in front now of Highview Sadler, yielding ground as Batador. On the outside next of all is... Master Dip followed then by Orbison Castle, the Spin King and Supreme Jester. The leader still is Real Stride. How much in the locker? Trying to pick up ground on the outside now is Master Dip and the Spin King's coming up three deep. It still spots the leader too. 29-4 third quarter. Real Stride first to see the judge. Coming out after it is the Spin King but it's still two lengths adrift and Real Stride goes for home here for Tony McCarthy. It's two in front of the Spin King and Real Stride well clear of its opposition and Real Stride despite a little hiccup at the uh, bell is going to be too good for the spin king master dip and high view saddler and they space the others about six lengths away to supreme jester in fifth and then orbison castle batador sue denim and the miami heat 29 three last quarter two minutes the mile rating and real stride too good real stride just went a little off stride when they flattened in for the bell but todd quickly got it to balance up again Brown Gelding 3 by Major in out of Exotic Stride. Race by E&M Stride, Todd McCarthy and Belinda McCarthy combining. 6, 10, 9 and 8. 6, 10, 9 and 8 are placed. 6, 10, 9 and 8. 10 and a half by 7. 238 for the overall. 159 and 9 the rate. Solid run, quarters 31-3, 31-6, 29-4, 29-3. The winner is a brown gelding three by Major Renard out of Exotic Stride. And Todd McCarthy and Belinda McCarthy combined for e and Stride manager Emilio Rosati. So 6, 10, 9 and 8. Little minor hiccup as they came into the straight. Uh, just wanted to veer off stride a little when they flattened. in. might have shied at something, I'm not too sure. But you know, Todd quickly took charge of the horse and got it to get back on track. A uh, little slight uh, reaction there by the horse outside it at the time but uh, in the final analysis it raced away to score a big win here real stride in race two Todd McCarthy lands another winner and has been able to uh, balance up real stride after it uh, 
It's a little wayward coming into the lane, a lap to go. Six beats, 10, nine and eight. And there goes the payout all clear. There is all clear. Six, ten, nine, eight, all clear. All clear the roof. 